Hey what's up guys, it's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this one I'll be showing you guys how to shuffle around the icons in your taskbar using Windows Vista and Windows XP using a piece of freeware called Taskbar Shuffle. So as you heard me say before, the name of the piece of freeware I'm going to be demonstrating today is called Taskbar Shuffle. And the name of it is actually very representative of what it does for Windows Vista and Windows XP. Uh, this is a feature that's actually going to be available in the release version of Windows 7 that allows you to move around the icons in your taskbar that actually isn't available yet for Windows XP or Windows Vista, like I said. So you can go to the link in the description, which I'll provide, which is nerdcave.webs.com. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that it's called Taskbar Shuffle and has full 32-bit and 64-bit support as well as support for dual monitors and Ultramon dual monitor systems. In order to get this software, just scroll about halfway down the web page and select your version of your operating system. So if you have a 32-bit system, and you will know if you do if you have 4 or higher gigs of RAM that you have a 64-bit system, that's how you know which version to start. Now if you are an advanced user and you prefer to download the taskbar shuffle without the installer and install it manually, you can do that too, the options below. So after you've downloaded and installed and run the application, you'll notice something in your taskbar that looks a little something like this, Taskbar Shuffle 2.5. If you right click it, you can actually go over the options and settings in Taskbar Shuffle. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate those now. If I click on settings, you have a number of options that I do recommend you tick. Number one is to start with Windows, which will put it in the Windows Startup folder and always start without you having to do it manually. Number two is so that you can show the system tray icon so you don't have to go in and select the program files whenever you need to change the settings. You can just go ahead and right click on the tray icon. And number three is that it checks for updates at startup. So when you start up your computer and you might not have the latest version of Taskbar Shuffle, you might have 2.3, you restart your computer and you will know immediately that you don't have 2.5 and it will download and install that for you. So let's get to the demonstration. In order to show you guys how to do this, I'm going to open up a number of Windows files and just have a number of things in the taskbar that might appear to have it clouded and crowded up that someone might want to uh, change the order of in order to have their desktop more organized. Now if you don't have the benefit of dual monitors, this is especially helpful for those of you who like to keep your windows organized and have certain ones in front and behind. So say I was working with a Microsoft Word document and an Internet Explorer browser, I'll use Notepad for this example. I might want to have this one to the left of the Internet Explorer browser. So right here, see the Notepad document? I can just drag this to the left of the Safari document and say I want to switch this blue folder to the right. All you'd have to do is drag it. It's very, very simple and incredibly intuitive. Not nearly as smooth as the Windows 7 uh, animations, but you'll definitely get the feel and know that you are moving around the icons in your taskbar. So that has been a quick demonstration of Taskbar Shuffle version 2.5. Like I said earlier, the link will be in the description for downloading and installing this, and the latest version of this software will obviously be available at that download link. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any other tutorial ideas or requests, go ahead and subscribe and message me through YouTube, and I'll do my best to answer your question with a video or text response. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.